In this video, we're going to take a look at how to migrate the domain for vscodecandothat.com from Cloudflare to the Azure Static Web Apps custom domains, which now supports Apex domains. Prior to the GA, it did not. And the only way to make this work was to use a workaround with Cloudflare, where you combine CNAME flattening with a page rule to get traffic to sort of redirect from the root to www. Now, we don't have to do that anymore, so let's see how to move it over to Azure. So the first thing we need to do is go back to our original domain provider, which is Namecheap. And I need to change my name servers. So right now for my domain here, I am using Cloudflare's DNS custom DNS. So I'm just going to switch this back to Namecheap's basic DNS and say OK. Now once this saves, I need to go over to the advanced DNS tab because that's where we're going to be making changes. So there's currently no records here, so let's get started. Over on my static web app for VS Code can do that, which is where the site's hosted under custom domains. I'm going to click add. And then the first thing we're going to set up is the dub dub dub. So dub 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 dot VS Code can do that. Dot com. Then click next. Uh, and then it's going to tell us that we need to create a C name to validate that we own this domain. So we just need to copy the auto generated URL for this site that Azure gives us to the clipboard with that icon and then come back and add a new record. C name dub 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 and paste in that value and click save. And if we go back to Azure, We'll say add, and then you'll see that the status says adding, and uh, this can take a minute while it validates that we have set up the CNAME correctly. Uh, by the way, you can close this if you like. You don't have to have it open and just click refresh, and you can see the status here. And if you click view details, it takes you back to that same screen that we were just on. So it's okay if you accidentally close this. All right, so this is done, and uh, our domain should work, the www part. So let's just make sure that it does www.vscodecandothat.com. Perfect. So now we just need to set up the Apex domain, which is the domain without the www part, because most people don't type www. And this is the part that you couldn't do before that you can do now. So we'll click Add, and this time we'll just type it without the www. vscodecandothat.com. There we go. Click Next. And then it tells us that we need to set up a txt record. Now, the reason why we need to do this is that it's going to use this record to verify that we actually own the domain and then create the SSL cert for us um, on the fly. And that's free and managed by Azure, not something that we have to worry about. So it'll take a minute to generate this code and uh, we'll fast forward. All right, so we got our code. Let's copy it. And you can see that it says it's waiting. It's validating rather. So it's already looking for this txt record. Um, so let's come over here and add it. I'll just scroll down to find a txt record. And then for the host, we're going to put the at sign, which just means the root, and then the code. So this at sign is used on the DNS to mean the root, or the domain without the www. So just vscodecandothat.com, also sometimes called a naked domain or an apex domain. And we'll click Save. And then back in Azure, it's going to take some time while this thing validates. And it actually says here um, it can take up to 12 hours for DNS changes. It usually doesn't take this long, but it does take a couple of minutes for this to happen. Because, again, it's creating the SSL cert and doing some of the things on the back end for you to get all this set up. So, again, we can just close this and check the status over here. And uh, we'll fast forward again. Okay, so it's done, and uh, now we need to do one more step, which is to create a CNAME or alias record. So the TXT record just validates that we own it. It doesn't actually create the root domain mapping, and this doc can tell you more about alias records. So, so let's go ahead and create that alias record. All you need to do is copy the auto-generated URL for your app here, and that will be the value for the alias record. And then on the DNS, we're just going to add an alias record. If you don't see an alias record type in your DNS provider, 
Look for CNAME. An alias is just a type of CNAME, and some support the same functionality via something called CNAME flattening. So you can try a CNAME here instead. So again, at sign for the root, we're going to point it to the auto-generated URL and click save. And then we can delete this TXT record because we don't need more. It was only used to validate that one time. And then let's go back and check our site and make sure that it works. So there's the dub dub dub. And let's take the dub 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 off. Okay. And it's still redirecting to dub dub dub, but that's okay. That's a vestige uh, from Cloudflare, but our root domain is now set up. And we could go back to Cloudflare and completely remove our VS Code can do that setup from Cloudflare if we chose to do so. That's it.